everyone, welcome back to Built From Bricks. I'm Brian. And I'm Steve. And today is January 19th, you know what that means? I don't know, what does it mean? Wave three, Lego Dimensions. Woo! All right. So we got five new boxes, I'll call them boxes, because sometimes they're fun packs, they're level packs, they're team packs, it's kind of confusing. Yeah. Well, we got five new sets here to show you. And starting off with Steve's favorite. Yes, Dr. Who, Cyberman, and Dalek. Then I like the Back to the Future. We have the Time Traveling Train and Doc Brown. That's a really cool set. Yep. Also the um, Sensei. <laughs> Sensei Woo. Sensei Woo. <laughs> what Sensei is Woo that? and his white and his flying white dragon. Yeah. White flying dragon. It's a white yeah. fly a flying white dragon. Yeah. I'm gonna say it right. And then from over here we have a Holly Quinn and the Joker. Yes, and she got a Quinn Mobile and then a Joker vehicle as well. The Joker's chopper. I'm cheating a little bit. <laughs> What's this one? That's the Ghostbusters. Yeah. So it has an Ecto-1 in there, and it has is it Peter Venkman as the... Yep, Peter the Venkman. But I don't understand that the Ecto-1, as Steve pointed out, has no wheels in the back. What's up with that? It's How's like it? floats. Yeah. That's silly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So we're going to put these together and give you a little preview of what they look like. Okay, let's do that now. Cool. And we're back. So we tried something a little different here. We didn't have the instructions for these figures, so we built them based off the box pictures. Yeah, it was not easy at, at all. all. <laughs> <laughs> and I think in Venkman, we got Peter Venkman here with his ray blaster, and we just somehow finagled and put on the proton pack on his back. We know it's not right, but close well, enough. They all look like the picture. Yeah. What is this? Is the ghost trap? Yeah. I built this. He, Steve helped with the backpack. Here's the ghost trap, which is pretty simple. Yeah, this I, yeah I like how it opens and closes. Close the ghosts in, the ghosts are stuck in now. Yeah. And, then we and have, that was a challenge. Yeah, we had this over here, it's kind of blue pepper on this. That's the Ecto-1 with no back wheels like we mentioned earlier. Yeah, which is kind of weird, but... So we just built those, cool. again, no instructions, pretty tricky, and I'm sure when I see it in the game, well, I can fix it if I want to, but they look close enough. Yeah, so let's bring let's in... Bring in some other ones. So here we have the DC comics with the Joker and Harley Quinn. Yeah. And then we have the Joker Copter. Joker Copter and Quinn Mobile. Yep, Quinn Mobile. Yeah, Steve cool. did this one all by himself. Yep, this took a little while, but it was fun. I really like the hammer. The Joker Land set has the same hammer. She has the same the yeah. circus act, she has the same hammer. Yeah. And uh, I'll just spin these around so you can kind of see them. These were, like, like we said before, we just kind of guessed on it. So that is the DC set. Next up is the Doc Brown. So this time traveling train, pretty tricky. But I think it's pretty accurate to the box. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And that I was agree. a little tricky. I started with the wheels and did it, I'm sure, nowhere near the way the instructions said, but who needs instructions? Yeah. And then Doc Brown with his, I haven't figured out what that is, the remote control slash walkie talkie. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, but what does he need for the train? Here you get the backside of the train with the flames coming out. Yeah, I think that's a cool little touch. Yeah, very cool. I like the translucent pieces on the side. Yeah. If you remember the movie, these parts kind of like flutter back and forth, so that's their motion area. Yeah, I, I think it would have been cool if they would have added like little wings to them, like they added like in the movie, but uh, they didn't. But that's alright, it looks really cool. So let's take those out and let's see what's next. Bring in the Doctor Who Cybermen and the yeah. Dalek. I did the Dalek and the well, Cyberman. He was really tough. <laughs> yeah, it was the toughest one. That was, a, that was the toughest. <laughs> no. That was the toughest thing. No, it's okay. The Dalek. I think I did this one pretty close to what they wanted. It, it looks just like the picture. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then the Cyberman is the Cyberman. Yeah, he's just a mini thing, so he's really easy. And the last one I think was the most challenging. It was this Ninjago Dragon. Yep. And this is Sensei Wu. Sensei Wu. He likes to say Wu. Yeah. This one was pretty difficult to put together. Um, the flying white dragon. Yeah, it was pretty intricate. If I take off this, you can kind of see how it was meshed together with those. If you did it right, you think you did it right? I don't know. I, I think I got pretty accurate on it. Sensei Wu says fly. Fly dragon. <laughs> All about Sensei Wu. So that's that for this so these, one. And that, was, that was it. That was that's it. That's all four of them. So let's put them all together. Can we get them all in a shot? So this right here is wave three of the Lego Dimension. Yes. 
very cool. I like the Back to the Future set a lot. I like the train, the time travel. Yeah. The train's one of my favorite. I really like this Ghost Trap. Yeah. What's your favorite? Um, I like the... Probably Dr. The Who. Oh, he likes Woo. I like Sensei Woo. Woo. I like Sensei Woo. And I do like, I do like the Dr. Like Who. Um, well, I like the Cybermen. I really want to get one of these just for the Cybermen. So, because he's not in any of the other kit. Pretty cool figure. The Ecto one again, strange to me. Yep. This, no this has wheels. four wheels. It's small. It has four wheels. Yeah, they this, this one has. They could have easily put four wheels in this one. And the flying white dragon is really cool, just because of the complexity of it to make it yeah. so small. Yeah. This one was the most complex out of all of them, uh, and it was it was really fun to make. Really, really fun. You say so. I'll I'll, I'll go by the instructions <laughs> on that one. And there you have it. Wave three of Lego Dimensions. Again, yeah. really fun to build. Yeah, I think we should do a free play sometime with them. That's a good idea if we bring Doc Brown into like the Doctor Who world. Yeah, that would be really Sensei cool. Sensei Wu into the, into Springfield Mass. It's yeah. not Mass, it's not Springfield Mass. <laughs> well, there is a Springfield Mass. I know, but, I'm biased because yeah. I live near there, so. <laughs> yeah, but there's so many so many different possibilities that you can do with LEGO like, Dimensions and it's a really fun game to play. Definitely. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for more exciting episodes. Yep. Check all the links in the descriptions. Don't forget to subscribe. What have you, you built, built today? today?